Hey guys, Tarek Maryface here, and welcome to Maryface Aviation. Today, I, I want to look at a an app that you can get for free, Aeroplates, which is from Rocket Roots, which you can find online, rocketroots.com. And what they do is they give us a bunch of aviation information, and this isn't meant for simulator per se, but I use it for simulator because I don't pay for any of their services. Now, they tend to give you a two-week trial where you can use absolutely every one of their services. However, we're going to use all look at all the free stuff. Uh, flights are like flights that you flight plans that you put in you can create new ones at the top you can see you can sync them with your online account if you if you decide to plan them on your computer and then you want to use them on the iPad for the actual flight um, airports this is the one I use for the most watch it yep there you go Airports, you can download all airport charts even after your subscription is over. So you can search the ICAO code. For example, if I if I write EG, it's gonna look for United Kingdom. If I say PH for example, you've got Edinburgh right there. Or um, or like France, for example, LF, and if you want uh sincerely call PZ, you know that's all the ICAO codes. Then you can download them, and once you've downloaded them, uh, let me show you an example. Uh let's say LF. France and let's find it's gonna load take its time well it finds all the charts and they're all up to date every single one of those charts are up to date that's quite a quite useful and there you go all these charts let's say um, Mon Didier so we're gonna save saves is only one chart so it's gonna be pretty quick uh, loading and it's just downloading the, the page itself and there you go now it's mine if I go there, uh, Montdidier was LFAR, so let's quit that. Let's go to airports, let's close that, airports, France, and LFAR, Montdidier, it's right here. So AD2 back, and you've got the visual approach chart right there. Now there's some few features, for example, you can, if there's several, like some of these some of these files of about 30, 40 pages. You can control the, the the brightness settings right there. You can orient the actual page itself without mm, twisting your iPad. You can lock the iPad so that you can't touch anything and the iPad won't actually, if you move it around like I'm doing right now, you won't actually you know, have an orientation change. Um, and then it's done. And that's pretty much it and if you've got for example a big air fuel let's say like Charles de Gaulle it separates the stars the approach charts right there the uh, taxi charts which there shouldn't be any the sit charts VFR should not be much uh, weather is actually pretty cool it downloads the current weather for the uh, airport you're looking at and that's the same for Notum it only works from time to time. Actually, it's in flight and it shouldn't be in flight mode, so let's get rid of that. Okay, done. That's pretty cool. And something that would be quite nifty is this right here, the tab. If you looked at the bottom where I clicked it, uh, bottom right, uh, it's right there next to in flight and the question mark. This thing, it's pretty cool, the concept, which is meant you'll be able to write. But look at this. Look at the lag it creates. It's just so slow. And the idea is that you should be able to... Uh, scribble things down like uh, VOR and now it's smooth 1120 for example but if you change pages because there's nine pages BAM it just goes ultra slow big time and that's a bit of a pain really so however you can also do this which is type so hello world uh, and I'm not even a programmer okay so I think that's a pretty nifty little thing now let's move on uh, to the next thing this charts tab is completely useless for now because um, Yeah, the IFR charts aren't available yet And even if there were I'm not sure using the trial version or the free version actually works Docs I've never actually used this and I've always been curious So if you press browse and it's updating catalog and I think it gives you magazines and on route charts However, I think you have to pay for these but let's give it a go because I've never actually tried it um GA Bar Europe Special. Oh, these are the magazines. So that's a magazine. So free magazine, not a bad idea. I kind of like that. Um, I'm, I'm discovering this as you are right now. Uh, one thing you might see is that the downloading is pretty slow. So you don't want to be downloading anything while you're in the actual aircraft. I'm going to cancel the download. 
I want to see if you can actually get charts on your charts like B alpha. Let's say the first one. Uh, and it seems to work for me. So you can actually download these for free as I thought they were not free. That's good, you know. Uh, right, let's move on. And then you've got weather. Uh, I, I really don't know what to say. It gives you weather. Uh, you go Europe, you get surface weather at certain times and it'll load and it takes a very long time to load. I think this is because I'm not using the paying version. I'm using the trial version. Actually, it's not even the trial anymore. It's just the free version because my trial version ran out. Um, but here we go. Uh, you got the weather on top of the map itself, which is really handy. Um, and then you've got the shop if you actually want to pay stuff and um, if you're a pilot a private pilot for example I would definitely recommend this you've got standard VFR you got pro which is for example if you're an airline pilot you got Europe plates US plates Germany plates UK plates. you got all these plates you got even Morocco and Israel and it just goes on like all these possible things and you can actually if you do stand you can if the pro which is the most expensive one is everything everything that you need absolutely everything now here's the thing look at these prices these are not one-time purchases these are subscription plans this is for 12 months a year's worth of stuff so the pro for example is 200 pounds a year so it's quite a heavy price however they do offer other services this is just aeroplates remember and the services they offer will include um, weather briefings and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, this is Aeroplates from Rocket Route. I definitely recommend it. Downside is that it can get slow and it can, on occasion, uh, actually, sorry, let's put that correctly. It can actually lag and even crash. So I wouldn't recommend to use it for now as a proper aviation tool. However. For terms of simulator, I think it's brilliant. It's absolutely great. There's just nothing to complain about it, and I definitely recommend it. Well, I'm Tarek Maryface. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of long-ish review of the aeroplates from Rocketson. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time, and happy flying.